Hey, Lou. You know what? What? Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, you know, it's today is Christmas Eve, and um, rather than do a long, extensive Christmas episode or episode on something else, we thought that we would just sit down with you yeah. and kind of talk about the time of the year and, and maybe a few memories or whatever might be the case. And we'd love to hear from you as well. Uh, if you'd like to leave a message, please do it in the comments below. Ronnie and I are taking some time off for the holidays, and uh, we still will be responding and replying to your Absolutely. emails and comments. Christmas has always been a... It's kind of interesting. In, in the Gallagher family, uh, it was always about the element of surprise, Ron. Yeah. My parents were always about the element of surprise. And um, I think I've told this story once before. I'm not sure if you've heard it or not, but my parents... Love to get my sister and I were uh, eight eight years apart. They would love to get us in a picture running down the hallway to come out and open our gifts. That was a special thing. Uh -huh. And so my dad would always get up a little bit before us. We'd have to wait in our rooms while he got a fire going and the coffee made, you uh -huh. know. And so then we'd come running down the hallway. They'd take the picture, and we would open all of our gifts, except for one, the special gift, the one that was in the kitchen. And one year, when I opened up that, that kitchen door to go in there, there was a motorcycle. Oh, my God. Oh, you have mentioned that before. Yeah. Yes. And I'm telling you what, it was nothing special, Ron. It wasn't like it was a dirt bike. It was just a little Honda 100, maybe, or uh -huh. something. Yeah. And, um, and, and I'm telling you, I was the man. I'm beside yourself, I'm sure. Yeah. So they always did that. And we'd come out and open the gifts. Okay, that's all the gifts. No, no, Dad. I know there's something in the kitchen. And I know it's big. Let's get in there. Now, see, we did ours a little bit different. We opened all of our presents on Christmas Eve. Uh, and so I would call my friends up and say, hey, I got a, you know, a dart gun or I got whatever. Lawn darts. Yes. What did you get? Uh, we don't open our Christmas our oh, yeah. Christmas presents yet. Mm -hmm. So, but on Christmas morning, we got our one or two Santa gifts, our, uh -huh. our big gifts, something that we had asked for over the course of the year. You know, GI Joe or you know something something bigger, a little bit more extravagant. I got a TV one year. I thought that was pretty cool, and um, so that was how our family worked it. Now, I have tried to institute that with my wife and her and our. You know, in our family here, mm, didn't go over that well. No, no the kids wanted to do it all on <clears throat> Christmas morning. And I'll tell you, one of the most memorable ones since my kids are born, my son one year asked for bunk beds. Um, he and his sister, who's one year younger, they shared a room. They didn't have to. They both had their own bedrooms, but they liked to tip, you know, sit at night and they would talk to each other and what have you with the lights off. So he wanted a bunk bed. So I went out and I bought a bunk bed. I can't even remember where I got it, but it was one of those steel bunk beds that is held together with Allen wrenches. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Later, all the welds were breaking and they, they had a recall on them or whatever. But anyway, so I picked up my son while he's sleeping and I carried him into my bedroom, set him on my bed. I picked up my daughter, picked her up, carried her into our bedroom, set her on the bed. I took their bed apart. I built, because you have to build this freaking bunk bed inside the room or it'll never fit. Right. I built the bunk beds inside the room, put mattresses on, put sheets on. I picked them each up and set them down inside the bunk bed. So that they woke up? <laughs> so they woke up. In the up new bed. In the brand new bed. <laughs> that's brilliant. And they thought Santa was pretty freaking clever. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant, Roddy. That's a great bed. <laughs> they memory. were probably, I don't know, 24, 25 years old at the time. Uh, oh, no. no. I think, <laughs> I little, think they were four and five. A little older than that. Yeah, I think they were four and five yeah. years old. Yeah. Uh, one of the greatest gifts I think I ever got was uh, back in oh in New Jersey, and it probably was around 1966 or 67, and I got the G.I. Joe space capsule Ooh. as we were talking about going to the moon. Yes. JFK had promised that we were going to get to the moon first, and I got the G.I. Joe space capsule. Holy cow. Oh, oh, my gosh. That was such a great Christmas. I think I cried. I was so happy. I loved me some G.I. Joe stuff. Yeah. That was the best. And they were big G.I. Joes back then. Mm -hmm. These guys were 
a foot tall at least. For sure. Not like the little seven inch, six seven inch GI Joes. I love the little scuba outfits that GI Joe used to have. I had I had a watches. deep sea diving yeah. scuba guy. It was all white. Uh, holy cow! And it was amazing. Yeah. Really amazing. GI Joes were big. Hot Wheels cars in those tracks. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I hate to even mention this, but have, did you ever get beat with one of those tracks? <laughs> I did. <laughs> That would freaking hurt. And, and leave a mark. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, leave a mark. Okay. But that was acceptable then. Uh, yeah. So uh, Christmas time, wonderful time of the year. I think probably, in, uh, speaking to the, the, the presents and such, I think last year the baby, our, our, our grandson, was a little too young to really truly understand what was going on. He's going to get it this year. He, he does. Yeah. Uh, last year we tried where... Um, the baby was asleep, so on Christmas Eve, we decided to just exchange all of our gifts, and then on Christmas morning, we'd get up with him and then have him open all his gifts, and so he can be kind of like the, you know, the star of the show right, on Christmas right. morning, because it's so special. And the other thing I was going to tell you is, um, I've been trying to read The Grinch Who Stole Christmas to him every night for the last 10 nights in a row, uh -huh. okay? And he wants to do it. He loves Grandpa's rendition. But see, he wants to read it to me, and he doesn't. He doesn't talk yet. <laughs> so that's gonna be a tough sell. Open up the book, and he's like this. I'll go, um, and then the Grinch with his snarl, the slithering, and and he goes. He's doing this with his finger. I go, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And then finally, I just give up. He doesn't do the voices or anything. No, he yet. doesn't do the no. voices. Oh, that's a shame. But he teaches me how to read it. So. I'll tell you one of the most memorable Christmases. We were down in uh, all of our family is down in Lodi and Stockton and Galt in that area, and we were in Galt at the time. And my younger cousin Mark was probably about six or seven years old. Still believed in Santa Claus. And oh, wait a minute, what did you mean? What do you mean? Still believes. I'm not. He might still okay. believe in Santa. Yeah. All right. I I'm just wasn't sure. Not what saying you're... there's not Santa Claus. Okay. All right. He was still a big believer, and the Christmas tree was up, but no presents were out. And this was our our family. The same thing. Christmas Eve, no presents under the tree. Uh, at this point, because waiting for Santa to come. Right. Somebody had Mark distracted in a bedroom. Everybody brought all the presents out and threw them under the tree real uh -huh. quick. And then... Oh, no. There was, like, the sound of jingling bells. Uh -huh. And somebody goes, All right, goodbye, Santa. And Mark came running down the hallway. Oh, he and he him. sees all the gifts out. And he missed Santa Claus. He missed Santa. He broke out in tears. Oh, I bet. Like, I've never seen a kid I'm cry sure. before. I'm sure, Ronnie. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It was... So supposed to be very funny, and it turned out to be a little tragic. Yeah, yeah, scarred for life. Tragic. <laughs> Merry so, Christmas, though, son. So, Mark, Merry if you're Christmas, watching, Mark. sorry about that. Yeah. I was I was not the brainchild of that one. Yeah, and and the hundred and twenty five thousand dollars you spent on therapy, <laughs> Ron will cover that. <laughs> Mark turned out to be a very well adjusted young man. So thank goodness he was pretty in resilient. spite of himself. In spite of all that, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we hope that you're getting to spend time with your family and your friends, and we hope that we, maybe you realize that that is, as the Grinch would say, maybe that it doesn't come from a store. No. Maybe Christmas means a little bit more. And, you know, one of the things that I'm trying to do as I approach the waning years of uh, my life is I go into every holiday with the hope that we can create some kind of a memory. Yeah. Um, something that I will remember and that my kids and my grandkids will remember for the rest of their lives because eventually that's all they're going to have. Yep. Um, maybe someday, and, and you'll know this soon, maybe someday my grandson will watch these videos oh, on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. And he'll go, that's my grandpa when yeah. he was still alive. Yep. So um, create some memories. Spend time with your families. Um, remember, you know, it's not about what you get. It's it's more about what you give and and putting smiles on the faces of the people that mean the most to you. All right. We wish you a very Merry Christmas. Yes. If you don't speak Merry Christmas, we wish you Happy Holidays, whatever your holiday of choice might be. Um, we 
also want to thank you so much for watching our show all through the year of 2018. We now have over 350 episodes of Men Are So Smart. And now we have some Christmas episodes as well. Yeah. Heck we can yeah. run a few of those. Yeah. All right. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And uh, thanks for spending some time with us. Subscribe to our channel so that you'll, and click the bell, so that you'll get notifications each time a new show comes out in the year 2019. Wow. Yep. That's just right around the corner now. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.